creative industry is radically like lots of criticism. I mean, people can say things to you that will cut you and you will just want to go home and quit. And so with each of my youngins, they had these moments where clients just cut them below the legs. And I would be like, hey, client, I feel you. You know, validation, this is my dad would say, validation, I, I understand where you're coming from. And I said, I know you don't like what we did, but here's the deal, I'm not gonna charge you, and I guarantee you if you give them a chance, they'll get there, I promise. Because they are relentless. They'd come to me and they, and they were, you know, a couple of them were crying, they didn't want, I'm like, hey man, I can't get you back in the saddle, but I'm telling you, here's your, you know, getting kicked in the teeth. And then of course, they got through it. And it was like, I just wanted to throw a parade because I knew if I had their back, because here was the deal. They worked harder than anybody. They were willing to like run through a brick wall through me, which again, this is how I kind of accidentally got into coaching. It was like, oh my gosh. So I'm like, if someone, if you go to the hilt and somebody hates what you do, I got your back. That doesn't mean we still have to deal with the client because they pay our salary. But if someone is just treating you like garbage, I will defend you. I didn't, I didn't do a good job of that before. Well, then that's how I built loyalty. I paid them good. I gave them benefits. I mean, this gal is in college. She has health insurance, dental, and vision, okay? I mean, like I have just relentlessly tried to do a good job of taking care of them. And most importantly, they want to be empowered so they can own it. Now, I understand not everybody's cut that way. But by golly, if you find someone that has that, you do everything you can as an owner to get the heck out of the way and let them be awesome.